Revelation 3, 8 I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Hello together. It is the 10th of April 2018. I made this video as a form of update because for uh, three weeks roughly I did not upload any video and I wanted to explain why and I wanted also to give some insight into my personal situation uh, so that you can understand the reasons uh, why I'm producing videos not very regularly. Um, also I thought it is time uh, to explain a little bit uh, about uh, what I'm planning uh, in, in the next weeks and months and uh, most important uh, I need to explain to you that uh, even if I am not producing videos for a month or two uh, this does not mean that I have given up this channel so uh, I intend to keep this channel and to keep uh, making videos for it and also to uh, uh, stay in the discussion uh, about what's going on, especially in my videos, but also other topics that happen uh, more out, outside my channel. So uh, yeah, this is, this is the update and uh, one of the main reasons uh, I think I've mentioned it already is that I have a chronic pain condition. Um, this uh, is a kind of a rare degenerative disease uh, of the spine and it allows me to be productive maybe one and or one and a half hours a day on average that means there are weeks uh, in which i cannot produce anything and there are weeks in which i maybe can produce a little more uh, but in general it's uh, it's not that i can uh, produce like three or four videos uh, a week that's not uh, that's not within my reach right now um, there are some, um, maybe there are some solutions over the horizon, but uh, this is uh, still uh, all very speculative. So that's the situation as it is. I do not intend to give up uh, this channel. And also if you write a comment also on an older video, I will follow up and I will try to answer you. Um, because as I said, the most important topic to me with this channel is to engage in a discussion. So uh, the next question is uh, what about the uh, video series that I started, will they be continued? And of course they will be continued. Um, I have the um, Church Bully uh, video series, it's basically an open series. That means I will produce part 3, 4, 5 and so on, uh, depending on the availability of my time and resources. Um, I have a lot of topics that I want to uh, that I want to dive in when it comes to that. I have promised uh, the next part will be a, a study, a Bible study about spiritual fornication. Um, I have already established that there is a connection uh, between the activities of the church bully and spiritual fornication. And in the next video, I will I will discuss uh, I will discuss examples of church bullies. Uh, and how they relate to, sp to the fact or to the act of spiritual fornication. Um, so maybe this is interesting for you. I do not know exactly when I will be able to upload this. It can take a couple of days or maybe a week, but it is still in planning. I have already scripted it partially and I will produce it. Um, the other topic is the MGTOW uh, series. I will also continue to pr produce videos there. Um, I have, a, uh, I have uh, the next part uh, planned to be a solution about how to, uh, how to draw, uh, how to, to dry the MGTOW money swamp, uh, meaning that I know that there are a lot of MGTOW, meaning men going their own way, in case you haven't heard about this uh, topic yet, uh, who basically see this as a business and who have not the intention to inform you, or rather they and they use uh, the, uh, um, yeah, their channels to inform you about topics, which is fine, but then uh, their, their main priority seems to be earning money, which uh, in my estimate uh, is, uh, poses a danger uh, that their information gets compromised and that you are sent uh, on a wrong track uh, in your um, endeavor. 
and as I have already said, I am coming from uh, a MGTOW position, but I know that this philosophy has its back draws and I also know that it has its dangers. And uh, also in this series I will, uh, I will go into these topics further, which does not mean that I condemn anyone who is, uh, who is following this philosophy. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm becoming more and more neutral to this topic. I just found that there are other more in interesting topics on the horizon, but I will continue and conclude this series eventually. Um, yeah, then uh, other topics I would like to make videos about and uh, where I would like to get your feedback if this would be interesting for you is more about the political situation and the acceleration of world events. Uh, of course we have the situation in, uh, in Yemen for example or in Syria. Uh, we see the uh, heating up of the uh, geopolitical situation in the Middle East with Israel in its focal point. Um, there are very interesting uh, things taking place. Also because I think um, these topics deserve attention from a Christian point of view and also because I believe it's important to be informed about what's happening there so that you can pray for these people because uh, what I see mostly are news uh, but I haven't seen a video or very few videos uh, where preachers are actually encouraging the body of Christ to pray for these people or eventually help them. Um, this is also what I would like to do because their suffering uh, is quite, uh, it's quite hard to imagine the degree of suffering some of these people face uh, coming from a uh, Western background because uh, despite all the flaws uh, the Western nations more or less uh, have. We still live in a very safe and a uh, quite wealthy environment and we should never forget about Christians and also non-Christians who are in a situation uh, where it's much much less comfortable or yeah, uh, to the degrees of uh, being in a horrible situation and I think we have an obligation to pray for these people and also help them if we have the capability to do so. <coughs> um, yeah, then uh, other topics uh, that I would like to discuss in further videos and for which I would like to know uh, if you would be interested into these is also um, to shed some light on other ministries and their doctrines and how I'm standing concerning these uh, ministries and their doctrines and uh, most important uh, also uh, the conduct of a preacher to shed some light on conduct of preachers and uh, how it affects their uh, followers and their congregations and uh, because this is qu quite interesting i have i have followed up the discussion about the trinity and the godhead and uh, uh, brian denlinger uh, saying that uh, Jesus is God the Father and I have followed up the discussion. Uh, my stance concerning this is, uh, is very classic. Um, I believe God is triune and there are many biblical references that support this theory. Um, so uh, basically this, this is what has been believed uh, for hundreds of years and many scholars have, uh, have uh, researched this topic and I have also done some Bible studies when it comes to that, also through discussions I had with, um, with some, uh, how are they called again, uh, the, the Latter-day Saints and also the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, and uh, what's quite interesting is whenever I started or whenever they approached me for a discussion and I tried to explain them the triune nature of God is that they asked me if I was a Catholic which quite struck me because I never thought, uh, I would never have uh, guessed that they would come to, to such a conclusion, um, which leads me to the topic, um, on, to the discussion uh, that uh, if, if you, some people say that, respectively Brian Denlinger, also other proponents of his uh, theory, uh, they say if you believe the Trinity into the Trinity, it's a, you are basically a Catholic and it's a, it's a Catholic uh, uh, doctrine. Basically, I do not care what the Catholics believe and what they don't believe. I, I believe what is written in the Bible, in the King James Bible in particular, 
and of course the Catholics have some uh, some sound doctrines and they have also some crazy doctrines and the problem with the Catholic Church and also other churches is not that um, that everything they teach is uh, is wrong and is heretical but that certain uh, certain doctrines they have are simply not biblical and then they mix these two the truth and the lies and this uh, this mixing of truth and lies and uh, Jesus called it leavening the lump uh, is is the dangerous mixture because if someone just tells you lies all, all day long um, you will never you will never trust his information because the the probability that you find out that it is that it is a lie he's telling you is very high but then if you take some truth and then you mix it with some lies ideally you take a large amount of truth and a little amount of lies uh, it's not so easy to spot and uh, yeah these teachers and preachers can sneak in false doctrine with right with correct doctrine and that's the danger so not every not every doctrine the catholics believe is uh, is evil and wrong and and theoretical um, this is a very dangerous this is a very dangerous uh, thesis that these proponents of uh, jesus as god the father have and i do not at all agree with that basically uh, I recall in uh, in school I we have in Germany we have also uh, uh, religion we can choose which kind of religion we we want to have uh, lectures and lessons and I was a Protestant basically I do not know if I was saved at that time but I recall very well that we discussed the Trinity and even then it was absolutely clear to me from a biblical perspective that uh, the Trinity is the is or the the triune nature of god is the uh, the model that uh, comes closest uh, to uh, to uh, to understand the the nature of god the the, the three uh, persons and uh, how they are connected with each other uh, through their uh, personality which uh, some scholars call the essence of God. Maybe that's not the best word. Maybe it's the personality that they share, personality traits. But this was very clear to me and I never came to the idea that, that this is something else. Also, it's very dangerous to believe the um, so, uh, Jesus is, uh, is God the Father because there are biblical scriptures who say that whoever hath not the Son uh, hath not life and uh, yeah this is something to consider i do not know exactly how how brian dendlinger and other people really understand uh, what they are saying i do not know if it's uh, if, if they really uh, if they really um, let's say uh, thought this uh, to its end uh, or if, if they just made some error in communication and maybe it, the entire thing is just uh, it's just about nothing because in the end we understand Jesus and Jehovah and his nature in the same way, then it's also not a salvation issue. But on the other hand, if, if a doctrine belittles Jesus, it also belittles the sacrifice of Jesus. And this is a very dangerous thing because the Jehovah's Witnesses do the same. And I'm not so sure about, uh, about them uh, having eternal sal salvation uh, yet because uh, if they say that uh, Jesus is not is not God, uh, or is not uh, is not the the powerful God that he is uh, from biblical account, uh, I'm not sure if uh, if Jesus will accept uh, them going into heaven. That's just something. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure about. I'm sure there are uh, other other preachers and teachers researching this topic, but it's quite it's quite dangerous. I uh, I would play it safe and I would say Jesus is God and there's God the Father and there is the Holy Spirit and yeah as I said Jesus uh, Jesus is uh, also God and that's it and if I if I have a problem understanding that then it's perfectly fine because there is biblical scripture that says uh, great is the mystery of godliness and uh, it would be it would be insane to assume that uh, we with our petty brains and our petty human minds are fully capable to understand all aspects and the the full nature of God. Uh, obviously, we are not capable to do this. Otherwise, uh, our planet wouldn't look the way it would. Um, so this is a this is a no-brainer to me, really. 
so yeah uh, also the conduct of ministries so that's a topic where I where I got stuck um, you know I think you can have all kinds of doctrines as long as they are not uh, as, though, as long as they are not affecting your salvation uh, yeah that's it maybe I have to accept it that you believe something else if you have uh, scripture to back up your hypothesis um, maybe I, I can discuss it or maybe you can convince me and or maybe it goes also the other way around but again what kind of bugs me is the conduct um, I read the comments uh, I, I, re I, I, I listen to Brian's uh, to Brian's videos and uh, this is not this is not the conduct a Christian should have we should always keep in mind that we are observed by non-believers and uh, as it was the case in, uh, for me, for example, um, what convinced me about the truth of Jesus and the Bible and, and Christianity was that I, I found preachers and people who, um, who impressed me by their conduct. They did not act the same way as anybody else. And I said, wow, that's interesting. Maybe there's something, maybe there's something to that. Um, and for my salvation, that was actually a building block. So I take this very seriously. Uh, we should not act childish. We should not write. Uh, maybe we can make a funny comment once or once uh, here or there. But uh, we should always try to be on the watch if our conduct reflects really the virtues of Christian Christianity. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm also planning to show you some uh, more information about my channel um, that's for another day and uh, yeah I think I'm through with my update I will also try to make a video about my health situation because I believe that there are many other uh, Christians and also other persons uh, having uh, chronic pain conditions and maybe uh, my insight is useful to them and maybe they uh, could also write something in the comments that is helpful to me so you know some more about my background and also to add this uh, um, one of the reasons why I do not uh, talk into the camera yet and why I do not have my picture as my profile picture is uh, because I'm uh, because I'm chronically ill and uh, it's if if you do not feel very well or if you are in pain for a long time it's not really the thing you want to do to stand in front of a camera I know that there are people who have no problem with that but on the other hand they are more experienced in making videos and uh, they are also uh, yeah they are just more mature than me because I'm not uh, I'm not so old um, so yeah that's right now that's my position concerning this um, I do not exclude uh, me making videos uh, where I'm talking into the camera uh, also because I believe at some point uh, I owe this to my subscribers also as a form of trust um, yeah so I think that's it I hope I could answer some questions and I hope I, I could show you that uh, I have not abandoned this channel and I will continue making videos and uh, I also wanted to thank to all the people who commented on my videos um, this, uh, this applies to a couple of, uh, uh, of people and uh, yeah thanks for, for the comments thanks for the communication this is very helpful to me uh, especially if I have a dark night uh, with a lot of pain or uh, yeah, if I have a bad mood sometimes just writing a comment and then some someone uh, replying on that in a constructive uh, manner is uh, is a good thing and it helps me to relieve the pain at least psych psychologically um, Deborah Gill is, the, is one example there are also others um, yeah thanks for that and yeah I hope I'm I'm through now and uh, as I said um, this channel will continue um, also what I wanted to mention is you can actually share my videos so in case you download my videos through whatever means I have no problem with that um, if you use some of the material it would be nice if you would reference me but again uh, we as Christians should have other standards we should not have the worldly standards to copyright every video which we produce um, if I produce something I assume the worst <laughs> 
so meaning that some evil doer uh, will will download them and mock them or whatever that's the risk i'm taking um, and uh, yeah we as christians uh, should know about the risks and uh, if we are really afraid that someone is uh, downloading our videos and cutting them up and make some, making something else out of them then maybe we shouldn't upload them in the first place uh, so this these are my final words um, yeah my encouragement for you my subscribers and followers um, also uh, to be in communication with you further and i wish you a nice day and uh, hope to see you soon in the comments uh, or in a video or in a discussion on another uh, on another channel so uh, yeah see you and bye